Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to connect the Elementor contact form with the Google Sheet and the Zoho CRM. So whenever someone fills up the form, it is going to send the data to the Google Sheet and the Zoho CRM. In this example, I'm going to use the Elementor contact form. However, you can connect many different contact form plugins with the Google Sheet and Zoho CRM. And it is not only for the Google Sheet or the Zoho CRM. You can integrate your WordPress website with many different CRMs. To connect the WordPress contact form with Google Sheet and Zoho CRM, I'm going to use Beat Integration plugin. This plugin has free as well as premium version and you can integrate 240 plus popular platforms without a single line of code. You can send or receive data among all these platforms. So you can connect your WordPress website with multiple platforms and you can send the data to all these platforms. The pricing of Beta integration plugin is only $39 per year for a single website and you can create unlimited active integrations and you can send unlimited data among all these platforms platforms. If you go for a plus plan, it will cost you only $69 per year and you can use the Beat integration on five different websites. The agency plan will cost you only $99 per year and you can use Beat integration on unlimited websites. If you go for a lifetime plan, it will cost you only $109 for a single website. You will get lifetime update and lifetime support. You will also get 30 days money back guarantee. For five websites, it will cost you only $299. And there is a Big Friday sale coming up. I'll give you a 50% discount coupon code in the description box. This 50% discount coupon code will be applied during the Black Friday sale. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You will also find the 50% discount coupon code in the description box. Let's go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is the Elementor contact form. In this form, we have first name, last name, phone number, email address, and message. Let's go to plugins. Let me show you. I have Beat Integration and Beat Integrations Pro plugin already installed. So when you install this plugin in the left hand panel, you will see the option Beat Integrations. Click on it. We are on the dashboard and here you will see all the integrations that you create using this plugin. So I'm going to start with the new integration. First, we need to select a trigger point. In this example, we are going to use the Elementor contact form. However, you can see that there are many different contact form plugins that you can integrate using this application. You have Beat form, AR form, contact form, Coblox form, GV form, Everest form, Fluent form. So all these forms can be integrated using this application. I'm going to use Elementor. So I'm going to select Elementor. You will see the trigger point here, Elementor, click on it. Now it says that we need to fill up the form so that it can fetch the data from the contact form. So first we need to click on fetch and after that we need to fill up this form so that it will fetch the data of the form. So I'm going to click on fetch and it says waiting for form submission. So I'm going to enter some data here and I'm going to click on submit. It says your submission was successful. Let's go back. And it has already fetched the data. You will see unique key here. Now you need to find out the form IDs here. All these IDs are there. This is the first name. Then we have last name, phone number, email address, and message. All right, so these are the contact form fields. Click on set action. Now we need to select the action. We need to send this data to Google Sheet. So I'm going to search for Google Sheet. Select Google Sheet. Now you will see that we have one click authorization. It is going to link your website with Google Sheet. So I'm going to click on one click authorization. Now it will ask you to log into your Google account. So I'm going to select one of my Google accounts here. And it says Google has not verified this app. Google has recently started verifying the apps before they can connect your app with the Google account. So I'm going to click on advanced and I'm going to, and I'm going to click on go to BTAPS Pro. Click on continue and it says that your account is connected. So I'm going to click on next. We need to select the spreadsheet. I have already created one spreadsheet here. You will see this is the name of the spreadsheet Elementor form data. So I'm going to select that one. You will see it here. And worksheet will be sheet number one. You will see this sheet one on which we have to send the data. 
Okay, so you will see header row. This is the header row at the top. You will see A1 is the header row. And now we need to map the fields. Okay, so click on the select field and we are going to send the first name. So we need to select the first name of this element of contact form. And we are going to map it with the first name. Here you will see the first name. So one by one, we need to map all the fields. Let's select last name with the last name. email then we have phone and we have message it is going to be mapped with comment here you will see comment section once you map all the fields click on next and it says successfully integrated finish and save all right so we have got one integration here that is elementor to google sheet now I'm going to create one more integration. Click on create integration. I'm going to select the same Elementor form again. Fetch the data. It is going to ask you to fetch the data again. So I'm going to enter some data again. Click submit. It is successfully submitted. Let's go back. It has page the data. Again, we are going to check all the data here. We have first name, last name, phone, email, message. Click on select action and now we are going to select Zoho CRM. Okay, you will see the option here Zoho CRM. Click on the plus sign. Integration name will be Zoho CRM. Select the data center. I have the account in India, so I'm going to select Zoho.in. This is the home page URL. This is your website URL and this is authorized redirect URL, which is created automatically. You don't need to create it. Now we need to get the client ID and the client secret key. You will see it, an option here, please visit Zoho API console. I'm going to click on it and it is going to open the API console. Click on get started. I'm already logged into the Zoho CRM, so that's why it shows get started. If you are not logged into your Zoho CRM, it will ask you to log into the Zoho CRM account. Select the option server based applications. Here you can add the client name that will be let's say a bit integration this is what we have the name of the plugin home page URL. You can copy the home page URL from here and put it here. Copy the authorized redirect URLs and enter here. Click on create. Now it is going to create client ID and client secret. Copy it and enter here client ID. Copy the client secret and enter it here and click on authorize click accept and it is connected click next again we need to select the model let's say leads layout will be standard and here it shows company name i have a kind of different layout here so i'm going to select first name as the company name last name will be the last name so you will see that it is already mapped click on plus sign select phone number and you can select phone number from here these are the zoho crm fields and this is the form field then we are going to select email id i'm going to map these four fields only then we have utilities workflows attachment blueprint in case if you want to trigger a CRM workflow you can select that option click next and it says successfully integrated click finish and save so we have two different integrations here now let's go to the contact form and I'm going to fill up the contact form let's refresh it and let's enter some data here and click on submit all right so it says your submission was successful Let's go to Google Sheet and you will see that new entry is registered. This is the entry that is registered when we filled up the form while creating integration for the Zoho CRM. So that's why it shows two entries in the Google Sheet. You will see first name, last name, phone number, email address and the comments. Now let's go to Zoho CRM and let's refresh it. Let's go to leads and you will see the new entry is there. 
This is the last name. This is the company name. You will see email address and the phone number. So you can see that the Elementor contact form is also integrated with the Zoho CRM. We are able to send the Elementor contact form data to the Google Sheet and the Zoho CRM. As I explained before, it is not only for the Elementor contact form. You can integrate any one of these contact form with Google Sheet or any other CRM. You will see all these CRMs are available here. The process will remain same. You need to integrate your CRM or the contact form with the WordPress. Once the application is integrated with your WordPress website, it is going to send or receive data among all these applications. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.